Hello, I'm Ron with Midwest Truck. Uh, today we're here doing an installation of Safety Cloud from Haas Alert on a tow truck. This is our Haas Alert HA5 device uh, that we'll be installing on our tow truck, a uh, Peterbilt 389X with a Miller Industries rotator. Uh, each individual manufacturer may be a little bit different, but the Haas Alert system is very simple. Three wires, power, ground, and a trigger. The key is finding the trigger wire and the power and grounds, which we'll go over later. Uh, here's some of the basic tools you'll need. Electrical testing devices, uh, whether it be a power probe or a test light. Uh, basic electrical tools, cutters, crimpers, strippers, uh, screwdrivers perhaps, and socket set, uh, lighting, and electrical crimpers, heat shrinks, and a way to heat shrink them. Uh, we'll be going over the install. My son Ethan's gonna help me with it. And uh, here we go, let's get into it. Now that we're up in the truck, we need to determine a few things. Uh, first, we wanna try to determine where we wanna place the Haas unit. Uh, ideally, you want a clear, unobstructed view of the sky so that it can connect with the satellites. I think on this particular truck, we're going to put it somewhere up on the windshield uh, you can put it on a back glass too, but I think on this truck, we want it up here close to the windshield. Uh, this is a Peterbilt. I've contacted Peterbilt and got the wiring schematic, and we know that there is power and ground up above the CB unit, up inside the head cons headrest console, and we also have a siren box up here that I can get my trigger wire. Since the uh, unit only has three wires, the power, ground, and trigger. We have everything we need right up here. Uh, so we're gonna take a minute and have Ethan pull this down so that we have access to all the wiring we need. And we'll move on to the next step. Now that Ethan's removed the CB, we have access to the wiring panel up here. We're going to test these for our constant power and ground. This is a control box that we want. I know exactly uh, which switch wire I want. I want my red and blue lights to come on and the Haas unit to come on at the same time so I don't have to think about it. As soon as I turn the switch on, the Haas unit is activated. So now I need to test the wires, make sure what I've got. All right. By the diagram on this unit, this should be my constant power, which it is. There's my constant ground. And now I just need to figure out which, either the blue or the yellow on this specific unit, is going to be my trigger wire. My red and blue lights are on. The blue wire, nope. Yellow wire, yes. We'll make sure as I turn it off. Okay, that is my trigger wire. That's where I want to tap in to my trigger wire for the Haas unit. We're ready to go. Before we started this portion of it, we've disconnected the batteries so that we don't have power in the cab, so we don't short anything out. And we have routed the wires for the Haas unit. We have them accessible here where we're gonna make our connections. And we also have the other end out to where it will connect to the Haas unit for the potential mounting position. So, now we're gonna do the We'll just strip the wires back that we're going to connect. I've already got some of them cut. And I made some of the uh, crimp connections already just to speed up the process here a little bit. All right, red is your constant power, which we've already determined on here is the red and the orange on this specific unit. This is where you gotta be really cautious and make sure that your connections are good and tight.
give it a little tug to make sure that they're secure. And we have our ground, which just so happens to be black on this unit and the Haas unit. Again, we'll give a little tug to make sure that we've got a good solid connection. And now our white for our trigger wire. Did it a little bit differently because of the uh, fuse, inline fuse. So we went with a smaller heat shrink connector. For the single wire. All right, another tug to make sure it's good and solid. Then we will heat shrink all the connections so that they don't pull out or get moisture. Hopefully we don't have moisture in the cab anyway, but I prefer to do the heat shrink. They have less uh, potential for pulling loose if you also heat shrink them. You can see the connector is actually melting around the wire and making it all so that it's one good solid connection. Now that we've made the proper connections, we need to reconnect the batteries, connect the Haas safety unit, and perform a test on the unit, make sure that we've got all of our connections correct. We've got the batteries reconnected. Now it's time to test the unit. The first time you power the unit up, it may take a little bit for it to connect to the GPS, but we're inside a building, but right now you may or may not get GPS signal, but we can at least check the functionality of the uh, transmitter. So we'll finish plugging the unit in, watch it booting up. All right, everything's working as it's supposed to. If I've done everything properly, when I flip the switch to turn on my emergency lights, this green light will turn to orange and shows that it is transmitting, which is what we want. Three, two, one, boom. It went orange, just like we wanted. We'll turn it off. Shows that we've done the installation properly. Now we're gonna get it mounted, tidy everything up, pull the unit outside and hook up to the safety cloud make sure that we can read this unit on the GPS. So we've got the Hollis unit installed. It's time for our final check. We've moved it outside so that we have good clear line of sight. We have the blue light on, which tells that we have cellular connectivity. We have the green light on over on the, this side, which is your satellite connectivity. Uh, solid green, we have good solid satellite communications. If you're going through a tunnel or inside a building, it might flash, that's okay. Uh, we can check now, again, if we want to, the red light, uh, orange shows that we're in transit right now. Once we get to a scene, once we're idle for 60 seconds, while we're not moving, that light will start flashing and it'll show that we're on scene, sending out a message to slow down, move over or whatever you have your safety cloud set to. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's a very simple system, but very effective. Uh, as always, we ask people to slow down, move over for any emergency vehicles. Stay safe out there.